Yep. I can do both. Ah. Uh, Three. Gonna be off two, on one. Jaeger. Fight. Dang it. Probably one of the spawns that I actually really like, which is like the back rocket yellow, because you can go, you can check rail, which actually gets left up a lot on this map. Go right to help your friends at red, but that was a really big sess anyway. Um, you also have the other option of checking mega. This map always revolves uh, basically around red rail, and if you don't have red rail, you can play LG side. 100%, it's just much more difficult. It's close. Was it 58 like last it's time? <laughs> yeah, 58, like always. <laughs> I, I love the uh, tag from Ash right now, a little change there. Because I put, that's how I can do it, I can put E4 at the end of them apparently. That looks terrible. Oh, I'm on hate me though, he's got the LG. Got it wrong. Um, what's your favorite position on this map, Sharp? Sure. I personally, I, I literally like playing the, uh, the Mega, where you rotate from Mega to Shotgun with a Plasma and um, Shotgun and Rocket. I know it sounds really weird, but you basically play support and you place. Well, I, I didn't get to say it all because I didn't want to like spend too much time explaining it, but basically you play the Mega and then the back yellow if you have somebody who's already getting rail. Because um, as a real player, I often end up having to give up that when someone else comes along and they can't play jack else on the map. It's kind of cool though, because you can do what Ash is doing here. I'm more of a rail person, so I would say any of the high positions, either above the red, playing around there with rail, or just denying it and playing the angles from there. Like the roost area, which is like... Uh, Pretty much, I guess Los Poils was kind of near there. Los Poils is doing the the real path, mega path, that's ideal, where you can go and check mega. Um, he's playing it with LG though, uh, but you can substitute in that same thing for rail. Uh, this is my favorite map actually, 100%, uh, followed by Dreadful. Um, sorry guys, I'm like, I'm real quick sharp, I'm actually completely just thrown off right now guys, and I'm rambling because I thought that we were going to have to watch a 3v3, and I didn't want to tell you guys we were going to watch a 3v3, because I was going to punch myself in the face if I did. Luminous only has one kill now on the squad though. Sharp, let me breathe, take it away. Well, watching Luminous at the moment, he's getting two frags and he's securing the red. That's all he needs to do basically, he's just trying to smoke here. Oh, he's to get to move, that's huge. He actually gets the LG also, so that's incredibly worth uh, just denying everything on that rotation. Just see if he can deny this though. They have teammates down there, but they should try to rotate over to red now. In time. They have a great position there, just locking down the system. Well, looks like there's two in red, and that's really awesome. Plan B really needs to slow this down in one sense, try to get control either on the rail or on the edge side, and then re-push maybe in two minutes, or one minute. Thank you, uh, TG underscore underscore underscore. Um, if you're around at the end of the cast, sir, I will go ahead and actually give you a month of quick uh, because I have not had anyone been able to tell me that command, and I swear I tried CG Red Team, so your voodoo magic has made it work. Um, I basically sure is dead on with that. Luminous right now, who I'm on, is gonna be like playing the position I was talking about at the beginning. Minus doing all the crazy stuff that a pug would do. He's also going to be late for quad. Yeah, I'm looking at this at the moment here. The high, only high position with red. Maybe they, they can actually get a free goal. That's really interesting. That's how his team gets supported. I didn't think they would get it that free goal. Sam actually had the rail and had the option to actually push it. 
I think they just fell to the late route. <laughs> ah, Jaeger. Oh, that's nice. I'm watching Ash is trying to get something going at the back of rocket. Maybe he gets the best spawn he could hope for. He caught the rail though, so. It's I kind of an early rail. For Ash on the one play, yes, As it would if it was late. He actually drops it down the end. Excellent. Oh, that's a nice one. I'm watching Pekka at moments. He has no HP at all, down to Megan. He's got some good support though. Like, yeah, in this scenario, he has one rocket. I would actually argue to just blow himself up and just get the LG from his mate down there and then restack and attack this next red. If you blow yourself up, so you don't get He's just wasting time now with 50 HP. You know what? I actually I don't I, I don't agree with that. And the reason why is on this map, where he was at the time and where everyone else was. It was okay. Yeah, no, At this point right go. now, they I think he should have died. They would get traded and lost, lost the weapon for it. So, uh, the risk first reward, you're saying? One, one and a half minute ahead all the time. Like, yeah. I think like right now, even if he gets the HP bolster, there's no way you can have the same stack as he have if you have 100 HP or 120. Well, but yeah, and like I was saying, like, what I... In that situation afterwards, where he had gotten into that scuffle with his team, then it was a good idea to die. Um, you don't want to blow yourself up though, because then you don't get any ammo. So what's Quad gonna get? Yeah, this is the messiest Quad in the world, by the way, this map. Uh, gonna get railed. He's down to 40 health, 50 armor heavenly. Don't chase. Yeah. yeah, don't chase. There's a grenade there, it's gonna smack him in the face. Since he doubled back there, he needs to the railer, I guess. I think you got a call. I think up, but I think it was, uh, 53. Yeah, he. Oh, good, good pummel. Good pummel. Good pummel. This, it was, this was totally bad play on uh, on his part there to get pummeled, but good job from. I believe it was uh, it was Lum or yeah, Luminous. This is actually a really close game though, so. It Definitely. Go either way, so. This is a map yeah. where a huge swing is even more possible, I think. Uh, there's really big quads on this map, but the thing is, is you don't see a lot of them because it's really hard to get quad cleanly. Oh yeah. And even if you send in the guy with red from above and he can get on it, there's so many angles you need to worry about, and if you don't have solid rail control, for example, you will get shot down for one of those. <laughs> and guys, that ash is not another ash. <laughs> Costa is right, that is the only Ash, and he is indeed subbing Holy it. shit! Roaming, roaming from Russia with his 70 pain and just destroying the people. <laughs> okay, game's gonna look really weird for a sec. And back to normal. Thank you for the $10 donation. Um, my donation alerts are scaring me, so I have to turn the volume down. <laughs> that was really loud. Pekka, Pekka making the mistake of realizing that they could have just backed up literally, and you can stand behind that dot exit. Oh, Luminous! Plan B is really late on quad now. I don't know if you saw Luminous right now. He's sitting on the window, uh, jumping the quad. Yeah. And he just secured that very, very cleanly for his uh, his team. Basically, two players got to do no cess damage to the quad. Oh yeah. That's that's a really good position if you have the time and can set up for a call like that and have really good team spread and just play around it. That's it, something you should uh, try to always get solid all the time. Can't let them get this red. I actually was about to say they didn't yeah. use that quad to get red. They did, uh, I was going to say they didn't use that quad to get red though, just because it's so important that you all go somewhere with it. You don't have to go to red, you can play the other side of the map. But you all have to commit to something and almost yeah, I was just a gonna say, like, if you have to call, there is basically three possibilities you can do. Either you go secure an area you want to have after it's all basically in the end. Uh, you either go for roaming tracks and then you play the back rounds all around. Or if you need to take control of red, you go there. That's impressive. kind of a good pointer to make. Uh, you can also do uh, 
the Sheikah play when you play with the rail angles or the nade angles on this map. Mm -hmm. But it's better to always try to go for the longer game for uh, better control in one sense. On other maps you see something called, uh, I don't even know if there is a name for it in particular, but uh, in Quake World it's called cleaning and you go up and you clean all the uh, strong weapons out. For example, if they have two rares, do you try to clean with a club and so on. Yep, I'm actually trying to watch what Luminous is doing. That was amazing. That was amazing. Um, just a real quick little moment, not, not really we're talking about again. Um, they're gonna scare red to themselves though. Or red for themselves, you should say. That's dead quad. That's okay. That's really standard on this map, like really, really standard, actually. Something that I don't uh, think's been pointed out yet is there is no rail ammo on this map. No, and that makes the rail even stronger, in all sense, because you can't deny it all the time. That was a really big rock. It's totally worth it. Yeah. Antonio it basically just killed Luminous with a, what was he, 40 and... Wicked. 40 and 180? Something like that? So that was, a, that was a really good deny, and he should... Ash this is here, should just back up. There's a huge cess out for this rail, putting further emphasis on what you were just saying. Oh yeah. It's gonna be Cephas, rail's denied. And then denied that rail again, that's super important. They actually got the rail here out of the... I don't know how. I don't where he actually found that, but yeah. It must have been a last second switch from the Gaunt, because I swear I saw him switch away. Or rather, yeah, not even two. Either, uh, didn't switch the rail to the rail, so someone else actually had it and dropped it. <laughs> this is a dangerous person to give weapons to. Hate me. Um, I don't know if he favors this map very much. Those of you who have watched the VODs on youtube.com slash dualcup, where I put everything, uh, House of Quake, Duels, CTF, everything. If you watched the games that they played versus, I believe it was, uh, Virtual, oh, no, not, sorry, not Virtual Owners, um, uh, Plan B played, I think it was E4. Yeah. Um. They just were doing horrible. <laughs> they were doing terrible. And the games end up stopping because the servers crashed. Funniest thing ever. Three seconds to quad though, Luminous is gonna come up right behind everybody and probably just have to do damage. No, it's to take it. Good patience. Excellent patience. Really nice, uh, yeah. He basically sneaked between two people and got the quad. Yep. He Don't was real bad. quiet. Uh, doesn't have a lot of stack, but it doesn't really matter. He got two kills and he should be able to help secure red again. This is really good. His team can't keep Definitely going to LG though. He gets control again and he's stacking weapons. Luminous is kind of the back man at the moment. He's got some of the strongest weapons here. And but he look at what he's doing though. He, stay alive. He, he needs his team here. He, like his team not being here made that waste. Yeah, they're six kills away now, but Plan B gets the red that he works to get. They lost the rail, they lost his LG, and. Now they all rush in late, and this is a huge mistake. Um, perhaps coming down to the fact that Ash isn't really a, an E4 member, but that oh, was yeah, a really big a miscommunication. Team playing against a really uh, a team that have a lot of teamwork built into them. Yes. Okay, Luminous is doing huge work here. He plans four or five raids, just secured the rally, even six raids. That's really well done. He even get Pekka there, and he gets Pekka also. He's keeping his team in this game. Just the beast. Oh, two kills for Antonio and... Okay, Luminous actually gets the railer, and that's incredibly lucky. <laughs> really? Let me yeah, switch back. He drops down the pad and he gets the lower stone and goes there first. Actually, I'm gonna be on... We got 20 seconds still that. I'm gonna be on Pekka unless there's someone with more armor. He may have been back post. I think it's just cleaning up there. If you can get that yellow, that's huge. Yeah, he missed on 100 HP in back hole. He could punish this really hard if he can get him. He can't though. Goal. That plasma 
ruined his whole life. He's gonna get mega. Yeah, I was gonna say mega. I would actually go. You know that you don't know red time right now. If you are E4, I would actually have gone to yellow because you knew that, and it's an obvious thing for. Uh, Basically, for plan B to be hiding at red. Basically, what they did there was just delayed and then pushing at later stages of the call and securing red for them. Exactly. Getting control back. He should be pushing him now. That's that's what I would have liked to see. And he did a good job though. They missed Raidler. Yeah, he did a good job, and I was gonna say up until the very end. <laughs> the very end. Yeah, he's he's lacking support at the raid though. Uh, I think I this comes back to the team. Yeah, I want to see one more player playing with him at rail. He's alone uh, you, you, most of the times. You can even see him and Cephas, who I'm on right now, Cephas, uh, they just exchanged weapons, and there was a big hesitation, and it's because they're not used to playing with each other. Um, that said, they're doing a really good job for having somebody who's not usually playing. Uh, he is Ash, amazing player in his own right. But uh, that's a hard thing to deal with. Um, I used to play a lot of competitive Unreal Tournament, a lot of competitive TF2, and when you have somebody who's so core to your team that's just gone, and you try to replace them, it's really, really hard. Um, it's just knowing the player and knowing how he thinks and how he reacts. That's the key thing oh. you need to have lockdown in one Hate me doing that's, work. That's a huge kill of Rash. Or if he can get away with Raylier. Ah, who are you on? For sure. But it's three people. So who, who are you that on? That means that the LG was uncontested, the rail was uncontested. And I think E4 actually get full control back. Seth is gonna go for a ride. Ash gets uh, <laughs> well, no, <laughs> gets team blocked. Good. Gets the mega also, that's even. This is where I go again. Go to your yellow. Now I go to the red afterwards, cause... I kinda wanna see them just stacking this red now. With yes. at least four players, and just keeping it locked down, and they should know that rails come out now. And the flooding is really huge. The way that they attacked was perfect too, because going up the stairs that those other two teammates uh, of Ashes were coming through is a horrible way to go with quad, but if you come with quad from the upper area, and you send somebody up those stairs, you essentially cut off the easiest way to retreat from quad when you're in red. Um, oh, yeah. You could make an argument that dropping down from jump pad, uh, which is the jump pad Cephas is looking at right now, uh, just behind the walls there. Um, you could drop down there, but really, you drop him down to a blind area. Uh, it's very susceptible. Uh, excuse me, susceptible to LG and shotgun. Oh yeah, I'm watching him at the moment. He's the one who uh, kind of was stuck here, and he needs to just try to get pressure on the rail. They're giving it away free, and it's not really working out. They actually bring back some frags. That quad round oh, that yeah. did actually give them 11 frag lead, and Th now it's just slowly building that. There's way. one more quad. But luckily, Plan B actually gonna block E4 out of the red room, which is huge. Um, oh, yeah. Hate me should right now. He should be exactly where he is. He actually, I'd like to see him go dive. That's the huge thing. I'd like to see him dive because his team is being and there's no way so attentive. I don't even think they're gonna try to challenge. They're gonna secure the next red. Uh, and he's gonna play a range. Okay. Yeah. They could actually steal this is dumb. That shouldn't have happened. Yeah. That's really huge. No one was watching either. Ah. I'm on losers. He got two. This is this is a game. No, that was a game-winning move. Whatever happened to cause all that ripple effect of them getting the quad? Like that was the game. Oh, yeah. Hager getting destroyed <laughs> combined. I'm gonna take follow killer off of Luminous, let him do his little victory lap after that. Um, that was pretty insane. Uh, yeah, but lost quad lost in the game though. I but was they, busy... They had a perfect lockdown and then no one paid attention to the high ground. And he got yeah. two or three shots away before he actually got spotted. Yeah. That won them the quad. I was busy actually doing a few things when they were picking maps. Did you happen to catch the maps? Uh, I did not, I was 
is actually tough at that moment, so we have to see no what it will actually be. Again guys, this is the second semi-final. Um, there was a huge delay in between the first and second. We will be going immediately into the third place. Get my screenshot. Be going immediately into the third place game after this. Can you put um, my mic up a bit? In a sense. Sorry, what? Can you put my mic up a bit? You yeah. You are having problems here, I think. It's because of uh, the fact that I had to sit down and do everything really quick on this one. Let me suck here, sure. I just want to make sure they actually Vote pick. Vote passed. And I don't crash. Okay. It, because if I... Sometimes there's a weird thing with OBS and me and... What happened, Blair? Nothing. Nothing. There's a weird thing with OBS and me where <laughs> if I don't baby it, it'll crash. And it's often with purgatory. Um, so I wanted to make sure that I did not crash. Which I'm fine. Wicked sick. Volume levels. Sharp, you're way down there, man. My bad. Oh, that's why. Yeah, I'm sorry, guys. Sorry, guys. You probably were hearing like rails, and then you. Yeah. Um. Say something again. One, two, three. Test, test, test. That should be much better. Let's just let us know in chat if it's all okay or if there is any problem. Just type it in chat and we try to fix it. And you're talking over quad right now, so keep going. Yeah, you know, tell me how much you love me. Oh yeah. Oh man. Dude, you're really bad at that. You'd be like, oh baby, oh my god, just like, we all just we put it right, right there. And like, oh my god, something like that would be much more appropriate. Prepare your team. And we're actually gonna go live. <laughs> nah. I'm actually gonna watch uh, Antonio spawn. Co-caster trolled successfully. Three, That's who I'm on as well. One, yeah, buddy. Fight. Tony getting the back shotgun yellow. With a teammate, no less. Kind of weird. Okay. They actually got the rail also, so they got the, the worst spawn here, uh, or the team spawn, I don't know what they call it. You could be a tad ladder. Here we go. Try hearing him now. Hello. Alright. Um, he's not late. No, 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 they're not late, mate. Don't worry. He didn't miss 102. 102 is gonna play in the grand final, bro. Effortless, I am really good at paying attention. I am, however, not good at um, making sure that 3v3s don't happen in my 4v4 tournament. <laughs> who are you on? I'm on Luminous, who has like a little bit of... You have the high ground with shotgun. Um, no health, though. The high That's uh, really oh, he created the That's In front of Suit, who gets red, Luminous secures with 100-100, and he's got 10 seconds to run. That was a really good rocket jump. That angle didn't look possible. Guys, next time use webcams. Costa, I promised my fellow North American brethren that I would indeed be putting the webcam on for their event first. The next House of Quake Grand Finals, there will be webcams, but that will be well in between many more other... many more other? Many more other. There will be several other Dr. Seuss-like tongue twisters from Flair. But before that, there will be European DDM out the freaking wazoo because this is gonna make a comeback this year. We don't care about triathlons. We want well, I want wait DDM. 
I don't know about you. Well, off, top, off topic, I'm watching Ash at the moment. He's Hell no. got himself a raid and playing on high ground, and it's working completely fine. He's, he's securing weapons for everybody. This is like the most on topic that this has ever been, Sharp. Go ahead. No, you're, you're fine, dude. I'm, I'm just trolling you really hard because that's what I do with my co-casters. Ash is also on E4 today, guys. And he's... I think he's this is one of his best maps. At the moment, so Isn't it one of his best maps, if I'm not mistaken? He's really good on it, but I don't know if it's his best map. I say one of, ooh, he's gonna get screwed. Nice oh, shot. God, I don't even know how he landed that last raid. Or no kidding. That was really important though. So, Los Poyo's gonna miss out on red. That's unfortunate. Gonna meet and Quad. He can't push that. He should just play safe up here and not take damage. Yeah, he's just gonna let this run out. He knows that he can't push uh, bees in one sense. It's a shame he doesn't know Mega's up. He could have been down there. It could be just miscommunication or just in the moment. That happens also. Oh, yeah. A lot of really things. good deny there. Uh, they deny the next raid spawn. So that means that they actually win red without a problem. If you can get support from one more mate here, it should be awesome. Yeah, his so mates are getting cut off. So. And then gets a freebie. That's really good. Sorry, I should say his mates are get cutting people off from coming in there. He had two people at a grenade just denying everyone from coming in. Antonio's got a really nice stack though to secure the next kind of mid area for his team because he doesn't need red at this point and so he should just sit above it. Uh, it looks like he's going to. Take these guys out. Oof, big rails. Lots of drop weapons. Yeah, there's a lot of weapons there up in the window though. Um, plan B actually gets really good trades off. Like, they get all the weapons and they secure it from basically the potential there to lose control, so. Oof. That rocket. <laughs> yeah, Plan B, those, they were shooting each other quite a bit there actually. Didn't look like they, any either of them knew that. The red just got taken by Pekka. Pekka comes to get Mega, hate me, shoots him in the foot. Good to show up, I guess, from Pekka to get the time, yeah. but really shouldn't have dropped right away. Like, Let's see if Pekka can maybe snag this. He's a bit late. I don't think he will. Oh, hate me gonna get the... He's denied though, on the BS. Oh yeah. That's one He's thing you really can low. do. If you can't get it, you can just deny uh, the exit for it and just delay it. So your guy on board can get a better setup at the red or high ground. Maybe. I regret switching away to see what was happening with suit, by the way. In that short amount of time, you guys, that stacked quad we were looking at, it somehow died. <laughs> and I'd love to know how. So my apology. Um. So Luminous is playing the high role at the moment with Rocket Rail and he's just trying to get something to work here. He actually gets himself back yellow, that's really good. He's actually been running this whenever he can. You'll see him go yeah, I was gonna say you'll see him go to Mega and his idea would have been to go back through the shards. Uh, hate me is currently running by and go back up to rail and kind of do a yep. loop where you go a loop under lower and then you defend up higher. They hate me jumps into a bit. Uh. Tactical, completely. Yeah, very tactical. To, to get the kill on to Ash afterwards, of course. Hate me, your nades are terrible. <laughs> oh, I mean, gonna switch off of him. Peck is stacked though with 140, 50. I kind of want to see who gets the rail. I haven't seen the pickup in a while, so yeah, I just want to see what happens with it. I haven't really been outside the map, so please let me know. Uh, it's going to be plan B with the red, last before power up. Oh, it looks like... Okay, that's why. Uh, E4 is stacking it. They have three players that is waiting for the rail, and they're probably going to attack quad with it, I would assume. Except this will win high ground. Let's see if he can secure them. They call also. That's a really bad spot for him. I don't think he will get the call. He's made to start, so that's super important. Gonna be on Jaeger actually. His team needs to get the comeback here. 
taking and forever. There is a quad above him. Let's see. He took forever to get really that kill on the uh, on the luminous. And he pick did the nice, and that's really good for uh, Plan B. Yeah. <laughs> they could get back now. They have uh, basically control. Okay, they actually just oh. out on the red somehow. I don't know how that happened, but yeah. Were they each scratching their asses? What was going on? They just... I felt like they, they both just... watched him fall into that room, because I was spectating from his point of view, and I saw that enemy walk in and take red. Yeah, he was standing too far back with rockets to do anything there. He kind of wanted to stay on that grid there, so you can deny him. And also dodge away from any damage incoming. Again? Two in a row. That's a, okay, they that's need a to basically call. get high ground on the control now. They have the weapons for it and they have kind of the position for it, so they can use pushing now. I don't think they do have the position for it. I think they're about to get rushed over from a uh, real, uh, real quad side. They're gonna lose Mega too. They got the red stolen again, Sharp. Three times they lost that. Basically, they're, they have the weapons for it, but they don't actually use the position that the weapons give you. That's one of the problems. They're, they have rail and they had rocket there. Or, not rail, they had LG rocket there, but they were not ready and didn't have the controlled areas or the high ground areas that you need to have. Seth is with good, <laughs> good dodging until you got point blank in front of the grenade. Might as well go for quad. Um, that steal from Ashley is huge. Didn't see it. Uh, he basically rocket jumped in just to get the BS and basically yeah. deny it for free players. Uh, it's gonna be a pause for plan B. It, definitely an evil pause, for sure. Um, yeah, I didn't see the pickup of that one, however. Uh, oh yeah, we can switch around in this, forgot. Go ahead and say whatever you're going to say before it paused, because I'm just going to check on everyone's uh, accuracy, actually. Hate me looking Three, good. Two, oh, must one. have more time. Anyways, Ash with 10 health still, switch to quad. This is looking really good, though. Yeah. Ash did a fantastic job giving everything with nothing. He finally is gonna die. Plan B. What do you think? What, like the timeout was obviously tactical. They even admitted it. Um, in my opinion, here's what I would do. Uh, you may have a you may have a completely different opinion. Uh, it's what Hate Me is kind of doing now, but he needs to get this weapon right here, and need it to not drop. In my opinion. I would have stayed up there, shot the rockets down, and then you deny the enemy from coming back in, because now they have high ground position on red, which yeah. you he just gave makes up. it away here to the nades, or could actually back away also and play the other side, the other yellow, and just try to deny that and force them to spawn on the nade side of the map. This team Since... has gotten red room. Yeah, but that's the thing, like, if he can play the angle and then either rail, or maybe just rail the guy that picks it up all the time, then they don't have a possibility to actually push in. Uh, and even if they push in, they're off in stack, so... Oh, yeah. That was a lot of switching there, guys, sir. It wasn't me at all. <laughs> um, I'm watching Himi again. He's same. on the rail. He's trying to deny it. I think he actually will get it. He doesn't have time on it, obviously. I think it's 48. I'm not sure though. No. Ash is the man. He knew it was 36. He's going 36, to be yeah. just in time to not make it <laughs> to power ups. What do we got? So, 50 armor, 100 armor on Pekka, who has a, has 7 rockets basically. Oh, Ooh, that shotgun. That huge. was a huge shot. The, like, just the fact that it did pretty much normal damage to the suit. Oh, nice, I love it. No yeah. ammo. The thing was, though, at that range, we actually put the BS in a really weird position down at Mega. Yes. When the Mega was taken, uh, and basically just removed him for the equation of getting the red. So, 
It was a that was a huge deal. I love the move though to rocket jump. The only problem is is the reason I pointed out he only had seven rockets is because he had seven shots to do <laughs> everything he needed. Luminous gonna help out Plan B there with a kill on the Cephas blind grenade for the team. I don't know why Pekka goes in just one Ooh. versus two there. When he had FG on high ground, he could just stay safe up there, no and stay with a teammate, and then uh, go in. Luminous getting them flare kills right now though, um, and his team is gonna Impressive. finally push in past the nades. Luminous is again just controlling this map so well for his team with his rail, no less. I was told by Dozer that E4 does not have positions uh, for weapons, uh, like or favorited weapons. Um, yeah. I'm sorry, not by Dozer, by Hate that Plan B doesn't have favorited weapons. Uh, E4, on the other hand, I know this. <laughs> oh yeah. Because yeah, I said that backwards, but basically Dozer told me Luminous, yeah, he's a rail beast, and you can tell. Tell. You can see it also on the damage there. He's up at the guy that uh, Septis is getting the rocket all the time, but you can see on the damage who's playing what weapon. Oh, two LGs are gonna secure Plan B that suit, which is good. They need it. Los Poyos gonna get. Los Poyos have nothing though. He have armor and rocket, but he Not needs to weapon. find the code now. And the Los Poyos has the worst weapon. But kind of a good one if he stays right here. It works if he can land the damage, but he can't push out for that LU. Okay, he plays around. Okay, that's a really bad position. Uh, or communication. Oh, oh that's a really sexy rocket. <laughs> the rail, I think, actually made him get the kill. <laughs> the rail pushed him yeah, into the rocket. Yeah, they pushed her into the nether. He's still playing this. This is uh, like a risky position. Oh, what are Bambi doing? Elders. They're not communicating, what the heck. Oh, that should have been a really bad scenario from them. Yeah, that should have been a rail rocket and basically red off that. Yep, should have been uh, all for them. Pummel duo, Becca wins over uh, for Luminous. Uh, Luminous, yeah. Los Polos wins over Pekka there in the upper corner room. Let's see, I'm gonna jump over to uh, Antonio. Let's see what he can do there. One of the big factors here. Okay, they get uncontested on uh, the red there. That's kind of huge. Yeah, it is. Um, and it's gonna go over to Pekka, who's gonna lose most of it against Ash, whose stack actually I was watching before uh, is fairly large. Sorry for the mass mass switching there, guys. Um, I have everyone bound to the teams, but for some reason everyone I wanted was at the end of the red team or end of the blue team. It's gonna look yeah. like that E4 is gonna take the red, perhaps. It's still up, actually. They all died around it. So someone yeah, can go around that. Yeah, just rush the power ups now. I'm curious who did get it. Uh, you see Pekka is on spot, though. He's probably gonna die. Yeah. 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 It's for Ash. <laughs> Cephas didn't even know Ash was there. That just that shows you how little communication they had going into this. Um, yeah. Ash, again, thank you to him for basically making it four. Five minute ah, he's gonna get a kill with this though. Just in time to die. <laughs> so Bambi no actually gets a really good trade off there and gets control over the red again. And when you put the but frags gets, in the highlight. still gets shot down when he tries to push into rail though. So. Right. When you put the frags into three digits like this, where it's 134 versus 103, you can actually see that it's not that far out of the realm of possibility. It's just going to take. A little bit of luck and a lot of good execution. Yeah, and at the moment they're doing they're doing like half the plays they need to. They're getting um, the red room, but they can't actually extend out and deny the rail. That's oh. one of the strong things that makes them die. And if you watch Hemi now, he's trying to machine yes. gun down two railers. If you actually saw him, he got spawned work. on. Like go, he spawned there basically and got railed off of it and spawned again and got railed again. Yeah, this is the positioning that the radar loves you. If you can stay down there on the rail spot or stand in the window above at the, uh, at the rocket, you can just deny everything. And Ooh. basically it's high ground connected wherever you go with it. And it's the one thing they need to de just deny now. 
because yeah. every raid hit just denies you the possibility to actually rush into something. Yeah. What, dropped weapons? I have no idea I'm on that, we'll have to test it, but they are they pretty much lost all that momentum I was talking about, like getting a miracle yeah. and going with, because they're now 40 kills out. Um, and it's, there's not enough time and the power-ups aren't actually split times yet, so you'd have to get really, again, lucky. Plan B gets one. Yeah, and to, I mean, you can make it here. No. And the pool that rocket was they need, huge. They can't make it here, and the reason why is they needed a double power-up. For a 40 kill comeback in 30 in three minutes, you would basically have to have your your opponent screw up. Basically, uh, you need the, your opponents to all uh, die and reset the weapons, and then you get total control, and then go as a team to yeah. every power. Up. Yeah, exactly. But that's I don't see that happening. Um, I'm just gonna answer some quick questions in chat. Since it's kind of over now, uh, but. Steven telling D Sharp that he'll help cast the next Team Deathmatch Cups. Stefan was responding to you saying, Try put me up again. Wow. Chat's been really slow, guys. Because that was all about the volume, wasn't it? How boring. Yeah. It's really hard to catch everything when I'm trying to do the camera work for this, which is why I just have it on Antonio now. And we'll put it on Follow Killer and who are we gonna watch? Who are we gonna watch? Watch Luminous. Who are you watching? For Luminous, maybe. That's who I was. <laughs> um, who is D Sharp? Says Costa. Who are you? Who am I? Yeah, that's a good question. Sir. <laughs> well, I've played the game since 96, so I knew a few things about it. <laughs> um, too interested in the game for chat then, to be honest. This game? Now I'm interested. Why? Here's why. Check it. One health on Ash, battle suit. You see, all you need. One this is actually the second time this has happened, by the way. Huh? 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 That's pretty weird. <laughs> okay, Drops do not disappear in, in 10 seconds, you guys. Dropped weapons don't disappear in 10 seconds. It is at least 20. Yeah. That's one of those things, like, if you see a weapon on the ground and you have the same on you, just throw away the weapon you have and pick up the one on the ground and then repeat that until the <laughs> teammate can grab it. Yeah. It's one of those things that people How did they do, do this? Sure. How did they do this? They went from 40 down to 20 down and they literally did nothing special. Uh, well, the thing that happened was they got two raids off uh, and could deny two raids and that gives you a lot of momentum, I don't think. I guess. It was, I think it was all them 1 HP battle suits. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you gotta watch it. Did a nice screenshot. Yeah, thank you. So, I mean, if you look on the control here, uh, E4 have way better control overall, and it actually got more uh, power ups also, in one sense. At least two more battle suits, but. Basically, it's one more minute on both of them. So.